Hi everyone, welcome back to Besame. My name is Shernet Smith and today I will be reading you The Hedgehog and the Hare. Now before I get into this story, I just want to thank all of my subscribers who have been supporting me from day one on this channel. I really appreciate the support and I thank all the new subscribers and I also invite anyone who has not yet subscribed Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. The Hedgehog and the Hare One bright summer morning, a little hedgehog was sitting at the door of his home. He was a merry little fellow who wished everybody to be happy. I think I'll just run over to the field and take a look at the turnips, he said to his wife. I hope you won't meet any of those rude hares, said Mrs. Hedgehog. Yesterday, two of them came to the cabbage patch when our little ones and I were there. They laughed loudly at our short, stumpy legs and said that it must be terrible to be so slow. Do not worry about them, said her husband. A hedgehog is as good as a hare any day. Cheerio, I'll be back soon. Just as Mr. Hedgehog reached the turnip field, he met a big bouncing hare on his way to the cabbage patch. This hare was proud and thought himself a very fine fellow indeed because he could run like the wind. When the little hedgehog saw the hare, he said in his best manner, Good morning, Mr. Hare. The hare did not answer this polite greeting, but said in a rude, rough voice, why are you out so early this morning? I'm just taking a nice short walk for a breath of fresh air, replied the hedgehog. How can you enjoy a nice walk with such short, funny legs, said the hare. By the way, I saw your wife and little ones yesterday. They were trying to run races, but not one of them could run faster than a tortoise. I nearly died laughing at them. These rude remarks made the hedgehog very angry. I suppose you think your long lanky legs are better than my short ones, he said. If you are not afraid, I will run a race with you. I'll show you that I am much swifter than you. You swifter than I am, said the hare with a laugh. We must settle this matter at once. We'll race down the furrows between these fine turnips. You run in one furrow, and I'll run in another. We shall see who will reach the other end first. I will not race with you just now, said the hedgehog. I am very hungry and must go home for breakfast. I'll be back again in half an hour. The hare said that he would wait for him, and the hedgehog went off home. That rude hare is far too proud, said the little hedgehog to himself. I'll teach him not to be so boastful. When he reached home, he asked his wife to help him play a joke on the hare. Here is my plan, he said. You and I look so much alike that the hare cannot tell the difference between us. You must hide at the far end of the furrow. Just before the hare reaches you, pop up your head in front of him and say, I knew I could beat you quite easily. Soon they reached the field, and the little hedgehog placed his wife at the far end of the furrow. Then he went to the other end, where he found the hare waiting for him. Let us start at once, said the proud hare. I am now quite ready, said the little hedgehog, as he took his place in his furrow. The hare hopped into the next furrow and took his place. Then he called, Ready? Steady? Go! And off he ran like the wind. The little hedgehog ran only a few steps and then lay quite still among the leaves. Just before the hare reached the far end of the furrow, the hedgehog's wife popped up her head and said, I knew I could beat you quite easily. The hare stood still in wonder. Well, I never, he exclaimed. Let that be a lesson to you, replied the hedgehog's wife. I will race you back, said the hare. You cannot beat me again. 
Of course I can, answered Mrs. Hedgehog. The hare turned quickly and ran back through the furrow, even faster than before. Just before he reached the other end, Mr. Hedgehog popped up his head and shouted, Ha ha! I have beaten you again, Mr. Hare. I cannot understand this at all, said the hare in amazement. Let us try another race. Very well, replied Mr. Hedgehog. This time the hare counted one, two, three, and was off like a shot from a gun. When he had almost reached the other end, Mrs. Hedgehog jumped up in front of him and said, Well, Mr. Hare, I am first again. Race with me for the last time, begged the hare. All right, replied Mrs. Hedgehog. Off the hare went down the furrow, but again he was met by Mr. Hedgehog, who said, It is no use. I can beat you every time. The hare was now too tired to run any more, and so he hopped slowly and sadly away. The little hedgehogs laughed and laughed. Brains are far better than legs, said Mr. Hedgehog to his happy little wife. Mr. Hare will not be so proud next time we meet him. The end. <laughs> so that was just a fun story. Serves Mr. Hare right. He is not supposed to be teasing people about their body parts, right? Anyway, I hope you liked the story. If you did, please remember to hit the thumbs up button below and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.